Thank you, Mike. Only on True Tonight, an oil company is giving a big donation to the city of Jinx, $40,000 for fire training. Two Works For You reporter Tony Russell is live in Jinx tonight. And Tony, this donation comes two months after the council approved plans for Phillips to install a butane tank near 101st and Elwood. And the city's acting fire chief told city councilors, look, this grant came from Philip 66, but it doesn't directly involve them. If you remember in October, the city council approved Phillips's plan to build a butane storage tank at its Glenpool terminal. There are several homes near the tank farm as well as school and businesses. Now citizens are circulating a petition demanding the city council to reconsider the plan. They're worried about that potential danger. Tonight, the council voted to accept money from Phillips and couple it with taxpayer dollars, but some councilors wanted to know if the money could go towards fighting a potential fire at the terminal. That this is not tied directly to any sort of thing with Phillips 66 other than they're providing the training. It's, it's one level of training that they will, that they provide. It's more community-wide. Is this directed at, I think, the key exposures that Phillips really poses to the community? Why aren't we allocating some of this resource to hazmat. The fire chief says his department does have an invite from Phillips 66 to train in Houston, and the department is also looking for other training opportunities for firefighters to deal with things like fires at a fuel terminal. Now, Brian and Karen, I'm told that they're going to talk about this. The petition that group is wanting about 500 signatures. They're going to present those signatures at the next meeting. Reporting live in Jinx, Tony Russell, two works for you.